This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PiCat says the hypotenuse of a right triangle has a length of 13 units and a side that is 7 units long. Which equation could be used to find the length of the remaining side? So whenever you're dealing with right triangles, you should automatically think about using the Pythagorean theorem. And again, since you're not permitted to use a calculator or a reference sheet on the actual ASVAB or PiCat, you do have to commit this formula to memory. The Pythagorean theorem, which is only used for right triangles, says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs of the right triangle and c is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. In this case, we're given the length of the hypotenuse. We know it's 13 units, so we can plug in 13 for c. So this becomes 13 squared. And we're given one of its side lengths, that is one of its legs. So we can plug in seven for A. That said, uh, the other leg called B is unknown. And typically we represent unknown values in math with letter variables. So I'm gonna call it X squared. So in order to find the length of the missing side, in this case, it's gonna be X. We're gonna solve this equation for X. The first thing we're gonna do is subtract seven squared from both sides, of course. In doing so, this crosses out, leaving us with x squared equals 13 squared minus 7 squared. And finally, to get x by itself, we're going to take the square root of both sides. In doing so, this crosses out over here, leaving us with x equals the square root of 13 squared minus 7 squared. Thankfully enough for this problem, we don't have to actually work this one out. And we can see that this, in fact, matches answer choice D.